everyone, welcome back to our podcast and the series called Teen Talk. My name is Denise Ibrahimi and I will be your host today. So without further ado, let's dive it into today's episode and embark on a great journey together. Get ready to be engaged, entertained and inspired. Today's topic will be about the impact of fast food on adolescents. To help us explore this topic, we have an expert in adolescence, health uh, and nutrition with us today, Dr. Alisa Ayete. Welcome, Dr. Ayete. Thank you for having me, Denisa. It's a pleasure to be here to discuss this important issue. Absolutely. So let's start with the basics. Why is fast food such a popular choice among teenagers? Fast food is everywhere and it's designed for convenience. Teenagers often lead busy lives with school, extracurricular activities, and social commitments. Fast food establishments offer quick, tasty, and affordable options, making it a tempting choice when time is limited. That makes sense, but what are some of the health implications of relying on fast food as a primary source of nutrition? Fast food tends to be high in calories, saturated fats, sodiums, and sugars, while lacking essential nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Overconsumption can lead to weight gain, increased risk of obesity, and a higher likelihood of developing chronic health conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. It's also linked to poor dental health and can affect mental well-being. Right, and many teenagers are at the stage of their, where their bodies are still developing. Who can fix attention their long-term uh, healthy? Adolescence is a critical period for growth and development. Poor eating habits during these years have, can have long-lasting effects on a teenager's health. They might not immediately notice the consequences, but these choices can set the stage for chronic health issues in adulthood. It's certainly a cause for concern. But beyond inv- individual health, how does this preven- prevalence of fast food impact our communities? Fast food can contribute to a host of community issues too. It's often found in low-income neighborhoods, leading to a lack of access to healthier food options. This can perpetuate health disparities and contribute to community-wide health issues. Additionally, fast food can contribute to environmental problems through excess packaging and waste. Those are some important points to consider. So what can teenagers uh, and uh, their family do to make healthier choice and uh, reduce the impact of fast food? Education is key. Teenagers and their families can learn more about nutrition and the importance of balanced diets. They can also make small changes in their eating habits, like cooking at home more often, choosing healthier menu options when they do eat out, and being mindful of portion sizes. It's also crucial to advocate for better access to healthy foods in communities. Excellent advice. Finally, as we wrap up our discussion, what's your top takeaway for teenagers and their families when it comes to fast food? My top takeaway is this. Moderation is key. It's okay to enjoy fast foods occasionally, but it shouldn't be a regular part of your diet. Make a conscious effort to eat a variety of foods, including fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. And remember that good nutrition is an investment in your long-term health and well-being. Thank you so much, Dr. Ayete, for sharing your expertise of this important topic. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Teen, uh, Teen Talk. It's been an incredible